That was such an informative uh, package, and it's great to see how they're actually helping I the know, communities isn't out that there great? as well. Yeah. So today we're talking to Obina Ukachiku, who's executive head of business development and strategy at Hygia HMO. The company was founded 32 years ago, providing healthcare services for companies in Nigeria and are seeking to democratize the healthcare system for undercovered and the retail individuals across Nigeria. Welcome to the morning show. Thank you, Stephanie. It's great to Thank have you. you. Thank you. So you have a background in banking. You right. worked at Stanbeck as the head of SMEs um, <laughs> banking there. Yeah. How did you go from that to healthcare? <laughs> and then also, how was that position at Stanbeck helped you? Because they must have its, you know, right. its advantages. That's the most difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always asked, and I don't know whether I've ever answered it rightly. Mm -hmm. Um, I think experience in banking exposes you to every sector. So mm. I did uh, project finance and um, credit analysis in banking, analyzing credit for different sectors. And one thing that was um, that always um, struck me was that banks were not um, favorably disposed to funding uh, healthcare businesses. So it was always a focus sector for me. I would mm. always say, what's the problem with this sector? Mm that um, we don't want to put our monies into it. And I think that's one of the questions in my heart that um, I thought I could answer coming into the space. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I, I get it, it makes sense. Well, I'm sure that a lot of the issues in the sector have led to you solving some of the problems. We actually do have a clip from your work at a high DL. Let's take a look. Really? Nigeria, approximately 2,300 under five years old and 145 women of childbearing age die. These deaths are mostly preventable, but our people are poor. About 60% of us live in extreme poverty. And in February 2018, the World Bank revealed that 65% of Nigerians requiring surgery will fall under the poverty line to pay for it. That is simply unacceptable. So, how do we keep our nation healthy? Our goal essentially at Hygia is to build sustainable relationships between all the members of the ecosystem, whether it's the financiers who are funding it, all the doctors who are providing the services and other health personnel who are providing services as providers in the ecosystem. We also bring to play the role of the insurers such as ourselves who aggregate demand to be able to create an affordable system for everyone. And most importantly, we ensure accountability and service delivery to the ultimate patient. Patients expect to get affordable yet quality health care in Nigeria and our role in creating a sustainable health system is to ensure that this expectation is in fact met. The Hygieia HMO impact from 2017 to March 2018 have paid out over 7 billion Naira to provider partners. Yes, billions. And our top 30 provider partners have received about 4.6 billion in this period too. Since last year, we've done 5,000 surgeries, 3,000 new babies, including twins and triplets. 1,200 of these births were by caesarean session procedures, ensuring the well-being of mother and child. This is how we know that primary health care is important, because maternity care, hypertension, malaria, and upper respiratory tract infections are by far the most frequent reasons Nigerians need health care. So, protect yourself from the risk of pain more than you need for health care. Hygieia HMO plans are affordable and give you access to our network of providers, the most comprehensive in Nigeria. Wherever you are in Nigeria, let's talk. We can help you live. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Very tell insightful. us a little bit, it's so insightful. Tell us a little bit about what Hygieia does. I see that you guys, you know, not only represent companies, you guys are looking to go into retail as well. Tell yeah, us a little bit. Um, Hygieia, <laughs> Hygieia does a lot of things. Yes. <laughs> so, but um, we try to aggregate, get a lot of people into the health insurance pool 
so that when any of them is sick, we can, um, they can actually have access to the care they require yeah. at that particular point in time. Mm -hmm. And historically, till now, the, the, the focus for many health providers, health insurance providers has been the corporates. So mm -hmm. if you're working in a company, Correct. you'd have health insurance. And we've left out the massive millions yeah. of people that are not in the organized and private or public sector. Yeah, that's why. You know I, what? I did, I did a research and I see that it's only 5% of Nigerians are, that are covered by healthcare. Yeah, we say 5%. Well, like, I hope it's not less than 5%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's less? I think it's that's less. so scary. Yeah, so, what are is. you guys doing to increase this number? So, so, so we've, we've actually written retail products. So, mm -hmm. we've launched retail products. Um, we learned that about a year ago when I joined, mm -hmm. and um, it's been growing, but it needs to really grow fast. We need to, we're expanding the distribution channels to ensure people have access to these plans easily. In fact, um, very soon, buying a retail plan would be like buying a recharge card, That's like awesome. you're buying a SIM card, right. and we'll be passing it on to people, they'll activate themselves, and they'll have access to the basic care, and sometimes even um, some very premium services. Yeah, but well, the, the National Health Care Insurance Scheme was launched about, what, 10 years ago? Right. And it doesn't seem like there's been much that, mm -hmm. when it comes to covering the people at large that need these services. So what, what is your company doing to actually tackle some of the hurdles that they had and some of the flaws in the National Health Insurance Scheme? Yeah, you, you know, the NHIS has done pretty well um, <laughs> covering... You would the, be modest. <laughs> of course, they're my regulators. Be politically correct. <laughs> yeah, but pretty well um, to cover the, the segment it was really focusing on covering. Now, you see those in the public sector, those in organized private sector, um, they try to cover people in groups, mm. and they've done pretty, pretty well in doing that. Um, mm. But the focus on people, because when you go into insurance today, someone can actually buy, example, a 23,000 Naira plan, and he has a 500,000 Naira catastrophe. Mm -hmm. You are out of pocket immediately. Exactly. That is why most times insurance, insurers want to gather them in a pool. But someone has to take the bull by the horn and say, even yeah. if I bleed from, beginning, from mm -hmm. the beginning, I hope that a lot more people would come into this pool and, um, and make it easier for me. But you see, with the um, legislation that allows states to fund right. their insurance schemes, mm -hmm. It's getting easier. Yesterday I was at Quara State and they launched their scheme. You would see the most vulnerable in the society having access to health insurance at subsidized rates by the government. Lagos is doing something and we've been working with them. Okay. And um, I think all these activities, we're in the free, we're doing mm -hmm. ours as private sector, the states are doing theirs, and we're providing the learnings we've had from mm -hmm. our scheme to them, That's whoever needs it. And I think um, just the future is bright. Yeah. 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 Was there some sort of collaboration with the government, with your company? Would you be able to do something like that with the government to just provide the... Um, most of the collaboration, it's um, uh, different role plays. Right. Example, with the Lagos State Government, Hygia right. is one of the um, health insurance companies that would be helping in distributing it. So okay. the state can enact the laws, provide some funds, um, put the prize, but distribution, getting the people to right. sign up, administration, right. all those things, they actually need to collaborate with um, yeah. the, the HMOs, and that's what we're really doing. Um, to enable this happen. Yeah. Earlier you spoke a bit about um, the elderly, vulnerable people. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the plans for some of our viewers? So if, if they want to actually jump on board this, what are some of the plans that they could actually sign up to? If they're like pensioners or even mm -hmm. like disabled people in the in this society? Okay, so um, I think we were the first. I don't know whether we're the only uh, that launched a senior citizens plan. So Fantastic. you can get a plan for your mom, your dad. Mm -hmm. Um, we have three ranges, and uh, the medium range actually provides for pre-existing conditions and chronic illnesses. That's hypertension, diabetes, and, and all sorts. What's the price point for that? Uh, oh, like, well, the lowest price is, I think it's about um, 9,000 Naira per month. Oh. It's about 9,000 Naira per month, the lowest of them, or 8,000 Naira-ish. And you also have the ones for virtually everybody. It's about, um, that's less than 2,000 Naira monthly. Um, so that's, that's so the image of um, one of the plans? Oh yeah, mm. that's, that's actually elderly, a 19,000. Yeah, plan. correct, correct. That's the elderly plan showing mm. on, the, on the screen wow. now. And you also have the plan for 23,000. Very yes. easy. Okay. And um, it's actually, we've actually taken a lot of risk to put that into the market. Right. Because we know that 
it would have been easier if we're um, um, getting them on board in their large numbers, in their 10,000s, their 20,000s, their 40,000s. But we are onboarding them <laughs> one by yeah, one. Right. And as we're onboarding them, the risk is actually um, increasing until the guys, um, the, the number grows. But we're, we're committed to staying through mm. and ensuring that this works because we want everybody on the street to have access to healthcare. Yeah, and would you say that is the ultimate goal? Because I was just about right. to ask you, what is the ultimate goal? Of course, un universal health, health coverage. We, we want everybody to contribute into the pool so that when any of us is sick, we would have access to health care yeah. coverage. I usually tell people that you think you are healthy, mm -hmm. but the healthy people are the people that have access to quality care when yeah. they are sick. Exactly. Because you don't know when you will That's fall very sick. True. Yeah. And you can't really be healthy if your neighbor is sick. Right. So, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, correct. Is, so, 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 really, so we all need to, to, to contribute our funds yeah. into this pool. In fact, yeah. I say that in your monthly bill, the, the percentage of expenses that needs to go into health care, needs to increase, yes. family-wise, everyone. I was everywhere. speaking about your um, health care summit, the, the conference oh, that yeah. you have. Okay, right. so we, 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 when we came on board, I, I, we found out that the, the, the system, the sector was just fragmented. Different players doing different things, different people in the value chain doing different things. So you have the pharmacists doing their stuff, yeah. the doctors doing their stuff, the medical lab, and sometimes they even quarrel. <laughs> so we thought we could bring everybody into a pool, the policymakers, um, government, the private sector practitioners. And has it been successful? Of course, this is the second year, second Fantastic. year we're doing it. And, and, and it's, been, it's, been, it's been awesome. And we're committed to continuing that because everybody needs to put their thoughts together to ensure we achieve this universal yeah. health coverage. Fabulous. Well, tell us quickly how our viewers can stay in touch with you. Right. Okay, so you can just go to um, our website, hijahmo.com, okay. and um, you would um, get uh, access to everything Thank we have so spoken much. about today. Thank you so much, It's been Thank great you. having you on the show. Well, <laughs> that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you so much for watching. From the entire team here in Lagos, all that's left to say is enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.